Okay, so first of all, what we need to know is that an image, because it's added from left to right in the same line, it's known as a inline element. By that I mean that in if I keep on adding images in a in a web page, um, what happens is that they appear in the same line. Okay, and when I talk about text, which is like headings and paragraphs, they are block elements. Block elements, why? Because when you look at this web page and I keep on adding paragraphs, they block the entire line and you cannot write anything here right now. Okay, you can, if you add another paragraph or a heading, it comes in a new line. Okay, so first of all, if you want to put an image in the center, what you want to do is make it behave like a block element. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is in my Jetsons page, where I want my image um, here to come in the center, what I'll do is I'll go here and uh, for my IMG image, I'm just going to add a type element. I'm going to write down IMG and I'm going to write down display attribute block. This is basically saying, you know what, the image needs to behave like a block element, blocking the entire um, kind of the line. Okay. And for margin, I will write down like we did in the text one as auto. Okay. So when I do that, Let's see what happens to my code. The image appears in the center. Okay. Now, what if you want to move image left and right? Basically, you go in here and you just write float left. And it will go on the left. And if you write float right, it will go on the right. 